noticed more luxury cars like Mercedes and BMWs on the streets? Or perhaps your neighbors are planning exotic vacations to Europe or the Maldives? Well, this trend is not just happening in big cities like Mumbai and Delhi. It's spreading fast to tier 2 and tier 3 cities across India as well. Hey there, I'm Yashrunta. I'm the founder of Alt Investor, India's first and largest community for alternative investment. Today, I'm excited to kick off a new series called Alt Extra powered by Grip Invest. With Alt Extra, we are decoding the complexities of high yield investments to help you make smarter investment choices. Well, in today's video, we'll deep dive into what's driving this wave of spending and if incomes are really rising or people are just spending more money. So let's get into it. First up, let's talk about luxury cars. Mercedes saw a 15% increase in sales in FY24. BMW sales skyrocketed by 50%. And you know what? Interestingly, 30% of Mercedes sales come from tier 2 cities like Kanpur and Indore. According to Mr. Santosh Ayer, the MD and CEO of Mercedes-Benz, the average age of a person buying a luxury car has reduced from 44 to 38 in India. Thank God it's not come down to early 30s yet. Otherwise, the aunties in my family would have been very quick to judge my success. Don't worry, I'm just joking. To give you another example, even the real estate market is on fire. Despite the rising interest rates, the number of homes sold in top metro cities as compared to COVID-19 times has more than doubled. Luxury properties over rupees 1 crore now make up 35% of overall sales. And this is up from 19% in the last four years. But how are Indians earning to afford this luxurious lifestyle? Well, the FY 2023 income tax data reveals that the number of people earning over rupees 1 crore has grown by 48% in a single year. The rupees 20 to 50 lakh income bracket saw a massive 54% increase compared to pre-COVID levels. Where is this significant rise of income even coming from? Log itna paisa suddenly kaise kama rahe hai? Well, to be honest, I don't know about that one. But one thing we have noticed is that Indians are investing heavily. The mutual fund industry's SIP book stands at 20,000 crore rupees. That's 20 plus 10 more zeros. Yep, <laughs> keep on counting. Not only that, even unique DMAT accounts have surged to around 9 crores. And surely, given the bull run that is happening in the market right now, people are making money and realizing gains, which might be getting attributed in the income tax data. But, 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 you know, it's not all rosy. In FY 2023, the personal loans segment also grew by a massive 21% year on year, suggesting that many are borrowing to finance their luxurious lifestyles. About 40% of the borrowers have more than 5 loans, leading to some concerns around a debt trap, especially in the small ticket loan segment. Coming back to the investment point of view, even non-equity investments are on the rise. As per BSE, retail investments via bond platforms have increased by 650% last year. Even securitized debt instruments, popularly known as SDIs, which are created by pooling several income generating assets, are expected to hit rupees 100 crores in FY24. Showing that retail investors are also exploring diverse options for better returns. There is definitely more consciousness amongst retail investors when it comes to investing for their future. India is also at the center stage of the world economy. And the general consensus amongst all analysts is that Agle das saal to India ke hi das saal hai. Which I also personally agree with. But which pockets of India will this growth really come from? Well, for this, we need to divide India's consumer market into three segments. The first one, the wealthy 
upper middle class called as India 1. The second is the rapidly growing middle class called as India 2. The third one is the lower middle class called as India 3, which is generally the less tapped market. The first piece of growth is a very obvious one, which will come from premiumization of India 1. That is selling the upper middle class more premium products or services by existing brands. The second major growth will come from India 2 where we expect them to gradually move to India 1 into the upper middle class. So will this growth in wealth and spending sustain? Well, we'll definitely have to see that. But for any economy to grow, credit or loans are very much needed to revolve within the economy. And as we know right now, India's bond markets are underdeveloped, as you can see in this chart. Only when credit moves in the economy much faster, we'll be able to witness the growth we all are expecting. And if you're one of the SDI investors on Grip Invest, thank you. You have been an integral part in revolving this credit by buying a pool of loans, invoices, and others, helping the company revolve credit much faster. That brings us to an end to the first video in the Alt Extra series. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in comments if your neighbors are also planning to travel to fancy European destinations. Stay tuned for more insights in the Alt Extra series powered by Alt Investor and Grip Investor. In the next video, we'll talk about alternative assets. What are they and why do we need them? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Investments in debt securities, municipal debt securities, securitized debt instruments are subject to risks including delay and or default in payment. Read all the offer related documents carefully.